Hi guys I am Bray and welcome to my channel. Before the starting a video please like and subscribe my channel. Why the C5 Galaxy is such a badass plane. The largest military transport in the USS Arsenal is also one of the largest planes in the world this year marks the 50th anniversary of the aptly named C5 Galaxy and it's been 5 decades worth celebrating. With the ability to swallow 50-ton main battle tanks and deposit them on another continent the galaxy is an essential part of the global logistics system as air force. Historian John Leland noted the C-5 symbolized the size power might and majesty of the United States Air Force and it still does to this day for a half century the galaxy has kept America's armed forces allies and far-flung scientists well supplied in the most remote corners of the earth and it will continue to do the job for these foreseeable future. It's hard to wrap your head around the sheer size of the C-5. In the most recent version the C-5 meters is 247 feet long that's 12 feet longer than an Airbus A380. Superjumbo civilian jetliner it has a wingspan of 222.8 feet with each wing as long as a basketball court the aircraft stands 65 feet tall the equivalent of a six and a half story building. The galaxy is so galactic it won't fit inside many hangars in some cases the C-5 mostly fits. Inside and the airport simply cuts a hole in the sliding doors for its whale-shaped tail to stick. Out other times it just sits outside the C-5 was built to carry more cargo than any other plane. The C-5 meters can lift more than a quarter million pounds in the approximately 34,000 cubic foot. Cargo bay is large enough to contain one tank six helicopters or 24,840,4746 ping-pong balls. The gargantuan airplane can fly 5,524 miles with 120,000 pounds of cargo without refueling with mid-air refueling the C-5 has practically unlimited range. The C-5 Galaxy started with a requirement the Air Force wanted a transport capable of carrying all the equipment necessary for a U.S. Army division halfway across the world while transports of the time including the C-130 Hercules and now extinct C-141 Starlifter were big they simply couldn't handle the most important item the new M60 main battle tank the M60 was 30 feet long 10 feet high and weighed 50 tons the Air Force issued a requirement for a new super heavy transport plane CXLHS and set a performance goal of carrying 100,000 pounds a distance of 4,500 nautical miles at 440 knots the plane that could do it would be not only the largest airplane in U.S. military service but the largest airplane in the world it was a heady time in American history when the country could easily fund a race to the moon the Vietnam War and build the largest airplane ever Boeing Douglas and Lockheed competed for the contract after a six-month deliberation Lockheed won the contract to build 58 of the cargo planes while General Electric won the engine contract and today's dollars the C-5 would cost $268 million each. Bowen's proposal didn't go to waste it would eventually become the 747 civilian airliner. The C-58 was an ambitious airplane Lockheed specs called for an aircraft capable of carrying an outside load of 250,000 pounds or 125 tons a distance of 3,200 miles unrefueled. With a 100,000 pound payload the C-5 egg could fly 5,300 miles that was enough to fly from Dover Air Force Base in Delaware to Tarajan Air Base in Spain or from Travis Air Force Base in California to Yokota Air Base in Japan. The C-5 was projected to fly more and bigger cargo and do it faster and with fewer planes in 1965 General Howard Estes commander of the Air Force's military air. Transport Service said the C-5 would have radically sped up Operation Big Lift and exercise that flew 15,500 soldiers from the U.S. to Germany. Hustling cargo The plane's cargo box is 13.5 feet high 19 feet wide and 143.75 feet long this adds up to 34,734 cubic feet of cargo space or what? C-5 maintainer is called a mere house with wings the cargo plane has outlasted the M-60 main battle. 
Tank can, can theoretically carry 2 meters 1 a 2 Abrams tanks though just 1 Abrams is 50% heavier than. The C-5S maximum cargo weights alternately a C-5 can carry 350 people plus equipment 6 a 60. Blackhawk helicopters and 6M2 Bradley fighting vehicles getting cargo on and off the galaxy is a lot easier than it looks these C-5's bulbous nose is hinged allowing it to raise up over the cockpit and providing full access to the cargo box this is nicknamed the Knight's Visor. A ramp at the rear of the plane allows ground crews to drive vehicles directly onto the aircraft where they are tied down to prevent load shifting in flight the airplane's landing gear and 28 landing wheels can hydraulically kneel to truck bed height allowing cargo to be offloaded directly from the plane to waiting trucks despite its size the plane carries a small crew pilot co-pilot to flight engineers and three loadmasters the plane's extreme range it can travel 7,000 miles without refueling means it often carries multiple crews and has provisions for up to 15 relief crew members it can also carry 75 more passengers in airline style seating separate from the cargo area a humongous history the first c5 galaxy flew on june 30 1968 and soon begins flying the trans-pacific run from California to Southeast Asia supporting the Vietnam War in 1973 C-5S were the backbone of an emergency airlift of supplies to Israel which had been the victim of a surprise attack by its Arab neighbors the airlift nicknamed Operation Nickel Grass saw the first C-5 in the air 10 hours after. It began with the first plane delivering 194,000 pounds of supplies over a course of 145 sorties C-5 flew a total of 21,600,000 pounds of supplies including tanks and helicopters into the beleaguered country the C-5 flew cargo throughout the Cold War particularly to Europe for annual NATO exercises in 1990 it participated in the air and sea lift operation supporting Operation Desert Shield the effort to defend Saudi Arabia from Saddam Hussein's Iraq months later C-5s participated in the buildup that enabled Operation Desert. Storm the liberation of Kuwait together the two campaigns formed the largest airlift in history. In addition to Desert Storm and Desert Shield CBVs took part in military and peacekeeping. Operations in the Balkans Haiti and Panama after the attack on 9-11 sea finds ferried. Cargo into countries neighboring Afghanistan and then the country itself once a suitable airfield had been secured c5 often accompanied the u.s president carrying the vehicles of the presidential motorcade in advance of air force one the c5 could have carried the space shuttle the air force converted to c5 days to c5c status modifying them to carry space containers that safely transported satellites and other payloads the c5c could also carry an entire atlas to a rocket and sections of the international space station the galaxy has flown to Antarctica. In 1989 a C-5 flew to McMurdo Air Field in support of Operation Deep Freeze the U.S. Government's annual resupply run for scientists studying the frozen continent the C-5 carried 72 people and 84 short tons of cargo including 201 and Huey helicopters the ice runway. Located on the Ross Ice Shelf was 10,000 feet long 350 feet wide and at least 7 feet thick. The C-5 is such a big airplane with a large historical role it has become. A flying representation of American military power the C-5m Super Galaxy is projected to remain in service until at least 2040 at which point there will be a demand for a newer likely even bigger aircraft what's bigger than a galaxy. Thanks for your attention if you're enjoy from this video please like and subscribe it. See you soon.